the end of the first video, the trailer chassis was being sent off to be powder coated. And here it is, a few days later being brought back. It's being powder coated in hard black finish. Uh, it's beautiful satin finish, very hard wearing and should last well. So the next job is to look at wiring. So I've created a drawing of a, the wiring loom and we now start threading the wires through the chassis tubes. I don't want any visible wires at all. So wires all threaded through the tubes and all hanging out ready to be connected to lights, indicators and so on. The towing hitch will be fitted here and here's the socket all wired up. In the meantime, several parts have been sent to be chrome plated. So the galvanised wheel arches now look absolutely stunning. And the laser cut rear panel looks fabulous as well. Really shiny, looking ever so good. Uh, here's a couple more photos. A company up in Birmingham did the um, chrome plating for me. There's about three or four layers of copper and chrome and other such things to give it such a, a hard wearing finish. Installing the light clusters and the whole rear panel is then installed onto the back of the chassis and you can see the wiring is still happening. Some nice touches here, not normal nuts on the end. Um, we've got those closed off nuts all in stainless. Again looking really good. So here's the wheel arches fitted to the chassis and the wheels fitted below them. Very glossy, very shiny, very nice. The rear plate is now completed. We've got lights for the number plate, the number plate itself and the clusters. And here's the the roof box sat on top just to see how it all fits together. Where they meet the roof box is going to be sat on rubber strips and the rubber strips will take out any imperfections and will prevent sliding around and creaking and so on. And here's the chassis. It's pretty much complete at this point so we can drop the roof box on again and just check it holds enough um, space for camping gear and it's a final check before the roof box goes off to be painted the same colour as the trike. While the roof box is off being painted we need to fit a tow bar onto the trike itself and here it is in progress. And again that was powder coated and it looks fairly discreet, it uh, fits in really well and it's nice and strong. It's very much in keeping with the trike and the electrics are hidden underneath, they are there. And here we have our final chassis connected to the new tow bar. Well look at this, the paint has done a superb job on the grey roof box, there's no sign of orange peel at all, all that was sanded out. It's a beautiful high gloss finish and it matches the original trike perfectly. Absolutely thrilled with it I am. Here's a picture of me in the garden testing it out. It's exactly what I was hoping for, in fact beyond what I was hoping for. A really good outfit. And it tows nicely, it tows really well. Um, having had the engine reboard to a 1200 helps, we've got plenty of power so we can pull this trailer fully laden and with a pillion, no problem. That's it, project finished. On to the next thing.